All right, guys, today is an awesome day because we have just hit 300,000 subscribers on this channel. That is so absolutely mind-blowing, and I thank you guys so very much, each and every one of you who watches and subscribes and just supports everything that I do on this channel. So reaching this milestone, I thought we would do something kind of fun today and look back at the history of my YouTube career, I guess you'd call it, because it actually started 16 years ago. Now, these first couple of channels we're just going to run through really quick. There might be some copyrighted music on there or something, so I'm not going to play any of that stuff. But once we get to this channel, I'm going to go ahead and react to a couple of videos, including my very first visit to a Spirit Halloween that I filmed, the most recent visit to a Spirit Halloween that I filmed, and the most popular Spirit Halloween video that I have ever filmed. So let's go ahead and get started here. And as I said, this journey begins 16 years ago. The very first video I ever put on YouTube is called Heinz for Every Adventure. Now what this was was a contest for Heinz ketchup where people on YouTube were to make their very own commercial and Heinz was gonna choose one of those and play it on TV. Now, mine didn't get chosen. It was on the front page of the website. Somebody else won it, but honestly, I never even saw that video shown on TV as an actual commercial. If you wanna see that commercial, this is the channel right here. It is called Rebel Films Inc. And the video is right here, Heinz for Every Adventure. And anybody who knows me knows that I love the Goonies. My whole arm is covered with Goonies tattoos. And this commercial was based on the Goonies. I have three kids. We went out, we went to the woods, we went to the parks, we went around and just filmed like a Goonies adventure on their way to bring me the Heinz ketchup at our cookout. So... <laughs> But that was the very first video I ever put on YouTube. There's a handful of other videos on this channel here. Um, I bought my sister a pig for Christmas one year. And there's just a short video about that. I built a life-size Candyland game for my daughter's 16th birthday. That video is on there. The Maslin Zombie Walk Thriller Dance at the Lions Lincoln Theater. Um, just a lot of fun stuff. It's only got like 20 subscribers and 12 videos, but let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And that one is called Go Tigers 3796 because my boys played football for Maslin and their numbers were 37 and 96. So this video was 15 years ago, shortly after the other channel, and it is called Snow Day. One day, my kids were off school because of snow, so we took the whole day and we made a snow day video. I think it's pretty hilarious. They got teased about it all through school. And every year when the snow comes around, I post it on Facebook for them. It was pretty fun. We actually ran around the entire town of Maslin making this video. And I know for a fact that the song I used in this video would cause a copyright issue. So once again, we're not going to be able to watch it on here. But you can go to this channel, Go Tigers 3796 and you can watch that video for yourself. This channel also has a couple more videos on it. Um, Maslin Tigers Rally for the season opener in 2007. Uh, a couple of 2007 football games, like little clips from there, things like that. So you can go check that out if you want to. The next channel that I started here was the first time that I was actually going to start doing YouTube as a regular thing. I was way overweight, as I am now, <laughs> and I wanted to start skateboarding again to try to lose weight. So that's what this channel was based on. Right now it's called That Nate Guy 2, but it originally was called Skate Master Nate. And most of the videos on this channel are me skateboarding in an attempt to lose weight. And to be quite honest with you, it worked. I lost 100 pounds, and there's even the video on there about how I lost 100 pounds skateboarding. There's also a video on here, which you will see is my very first use of what are those in relation to shoes. Now, what are those is not something I came up with. That was an internet trend for a while, and it was just something people said when they saw these crazy shoes. And I love crazy shoes, so I bought a pair of older shoes called Airwalk Bruiser Prototypes, and they're pretty weird looking. It was the 90s when they came out, and that was the style. But as you can see in my thumbnail, I said, what are those? <laughs> 
So that right there is a little bit of trivia. The very first time I ever used the what are those on YouTube. And I don't think I actually even said it in the video, but this channel has a lot of awesome videos, 293 videos to be exact. There are videos of other people skateboarding who worked for me, who I sponsored basically because I had a skateboarding company called Era Skateboarding. Um, lots of videos of myself skateboarding. There's a video of when I went to see 21 Pilots with my daughter. I started doing like daily vlogs on here. So there's all kinds of interesting stuff like me swimming and doing the ultimate cannonball at the swimming pool. I went to pick my son up at college and I made him jump in the pool with our clothes on. <laughs> There's just so much stuff on this channel, guys. Um, you'd have to go check it out for yourself. Again, right now it's called That Nate Guy 2. And this is also the channel where I began to do um, abandoned places and all the retail stuff. I did a whole series on abandoned places called Skate and Destroyed, because usually abandoned places are destroyed. I made custom skateboards. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on this channel here. You'll just have to go and check it out yourself. Again, I would play some of it, but it's got all kinds of different music on here that um, probably has some copyright issues. Here I am with Garbage Pail Kids on here. You guys know I've been opening Garbage Pail Kids recently on this channel. And there are a couple of Halloween videos on this channel too. Here's a video where I made a skateboard that looked like Bigfoot's foot. Here's the Matrix skateboard. There's the video of losing 100 pounds on the skateboard. Here's some of my abandoned videos here. The Akron Rubber Bowl, abandoned Kmart and Little Caesars, Canton Center Mall, the Mansfield Prison where they filmed the Shawshank Redemption, just all kinds of things here. And then what brings me to the end of this channel is right after I lost 100 pounds skateboarding, I was actually injured skateboarding. I tore my ACL in my left knee and that ended my entire skateboarding channel, including my skateboarding company. Everything that I had worked so hard for and built up, it ended it. So at that time, I continued posting videos on here of abandoned places and things like that, but I pretty much switched over to what you guys know now as That Nate Guy on YouTube. I actually had started this channel before I got injured because I wanted to do some daily vlogging and things that weren't really working on that channel about skateboarding. And the way that YouTube works is they want you to have one single kind of content that you are putting out. And if you put out multiple kinds of content, daily vlogging, skateboarding, abandoned buildings, retail, they don't know who to promote it to. The skateboarding videos were doing very good. That's what it started out to be, so I was gonna keep it at that. So at some point I began That Nate Guy on YouTube, and I called it That Nate Guy on YouTube because that was a title that was not specific to any one type of content. This was just gonna be a hobby channel where I was gonna do my daily vlogging and things like that. And if we look at this channel right now, the oldest video that's on here, the first one I posted on here is called Christmas is Everywhere. It was a Christmas video where I drove around and I just filmed Christmas everywhere in the area. Belden Village Mall, the park in Canton, Ohio, the Kinley Monument. I also did some videos on here about low carb weight loss and cooking. Man, some of this stuff is really good too. Low carb ham and egg enchiladas. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, let me just tell you. <laughs> and of course, I continued with the same thing where like I'm doing daily vlogging and again, back to the abandoned things and the retail. In fact, this channel became pretty much all about retail for a long time. Now we're going to come back to that in a minute. Because just like I just said, how YouTube wants you to have one type of content on a channel, again, I split up the channel and I started this channel over here, which is now called Romancing the States. Honestly, this channel has had several names to it, and I don't even remember what it was before then, probably like that Nate Guy 2 or something like that, but I was doing a show called Nate in the Morning on that Nate Guy on YouTube, and I went ahead and switched that one over to this channel, 
So you can see here, it picks up on episode 171. I had been doing it that long when I decided to split it off onto another channel. So on this channel here, Romancing the States, I began doing the weight loss of the daily vlogging and the morning shows. And then eventually that became the channel where I document um, all my travels in my RV. I met Marion, I got married, we have traveled the United States full-time in that RV for two years. We've been to 46 states, I think, out of 50. And then, of course, when you get down to the newer videos, you can see where we bought our house. I have all kinds of videos on here about things that we've been doing here, trips that we've taken to Airbnbs. Um, we bought our hot tub. We built a deck in the back, put up a gazebo. We have gone through the entire house and just completely remodeled it. All those videos are on that channel if you want to check those out, too. 891 videos on that channel so knock yourself out have fun watching those videos but that takes care of what four or five channels now we have two left the main channel that Nate guy on YouTube which is this channel right here and then once again as I said that YouTube wants you to stick with one type of content the content that works best on this channel is spirit Halloween so once again, I split it up last year and I started another channel that some of you might not even be aware of because it only has under 6,000 subscribers right now. It is another channel dedicated strictly to Halloween and it is called That Nate Guy on Halloween. Now on this channel, I do everything that is not Spirit Halloween, but is Halloween. I've put a few spirit things on here like opening these blind mystery bags from Spirit, a couple of Spirit inflatables, but for the most part, it's unboxing inflatables that I've bought either at Spirit or other stores or online at Amazon, um, doing the store tours of Party City, Hobby Lobby, here we got a Target, uh, we got Joanne Fabrics and Party Place, or at least that does not fit appropriately on that Nate guy on YouTube, this channel right here, the main channel for Spirit Halloween. So with all of that said, that brings us down to doing a couple of reactions here to some videos on this main channel right here. And the first one I want to do is the first video that I ever made inside a Spirit Halloween store. And that video is called The Spirit of J.C. Penny, Spirit Halloween, in an abandoned jc penny now remember at the time that i did this video i was doing strictly retail and abandoned retail so when i went in here to film my entire intent was to be able to see the inside of this jc penny store that had been abandoned for a while and you're gonna see how like my whole demeanor was totally different at the time let's go ahead and open this one up here there's, I am made to be free. There's my old intro. I was on my way somewhere else and I noticed that this Halloween store is over here. I'll show it to you in a second. In uh, inside the old JC Penny at Newtown Mall. So we're gonna go in there and film a little bit. This should be cool. Even like the way that I'm talking in that video is so totally different. Like I, ever since I started filming Spirit and really found that comfort zone. And um, when I started filming Spirit, that's when I was like, man, this is what I want to do. You know, even in this video here, like I, I filmed it completely different. But when I went in, I was thinking, wow, I love Halloween. I love being in this store. This is what I want to film. But I didn't think I could get away with it because everybody was used to watching just regular retail videos from me. But once I got in there and started doing that, that's when like my whole personality started blooming and coming out and I really felt free about uh, filming things because I love Halloween so much and it was so much fun to be in that store. So you can hear that I have the music on. There's like little white things floating around in the air here like we're in the upside down. <laughs> I have music on in this video um, because I was basically trying to drown out the music that was inside the store. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I think that, um, I don't even know if I do any more talking in this video. Look at how bad the, the camera movements are and everything. Wow, look at that guy. Oh my gosh, yes. Uh, I can't even think of what the heck his name is right now. This is from 2018, by the way, guys. Oh my gosh, Jack and, and uh, Sally. I have not watched this video. I've not watched this video in so long, guys. Yeah, I'm talking a little bit, but you can't hear it very much because I have this other music over top of it. So I think I have most of the actual sounds from the store muted um, because I was afraid of getting a copyright a strike because that music they play here. in there is just so loud, you know? And I will say real quick that that's one of the things that has helped to mold my videos into what they are today because in order to avoid those copyright strikes with that music playing, you have to um, just do short, quick cuts. Because I think if they have like 10 seconds of the song, then they identify it and you get a copyright strike. So that is one reason why my videos move a lot faster now too. Okay, yeah, here we go. Um, I can see through the little holes of these walls and uh, just a big empty space back there. There's a lot of boxes on the other side here. Yeah, so I'm getting the idea of trying to peek through the holes to, to see the background of JCPenney's. Look at that Area 31 capsule. I like that. <laughs> it is so cool watching this video right now. Oh my gosh, there's the Slimers! I saw the foam Slimers with a oh, butt! The slimer, guys. This thing is rad. I wish I would have bought one of those guys when they were in stores. 85 bucks. Now they're like 200 on eBay. It's ridiculous. That is pretty cool. Ghostbusters string lights. Yeah, about a year later is when I would make my video and say, say, he has a butt! <laughs> Yeah, like I was this really be really easy to make. I was really enjoying being in this store and um, and seeing all this stuff. Oh wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> um, even though I had gone in there to specifically film Jason, I've seen this before. It's a skull bong. This is cool. Haunted house. This is a zombie baby. Yeah, I didn't realize that he was already uh, Bubba. That his head was already out. I didn't realize he wouldn't you do anything else at the time. On these, like the dog is supposed to come shooting out of there and scare the crap out of you. That's pretty cool. First time I ever said scare the crap out of you in a spirit video, right there. Ah, the plotting zombie baby. This is so cool, I love this. Okay. So I know you guys can't see anything in here, but I just entered this haunted house thing. It's like a walkway. I don't know what was supposed to happen in there. I, I, one of these or what, that's weird. I don't remember, but it was pitch black when I went in there. Yeah, that camera movement is absolutely horrible. It's like making me want to puke right now. Giant scissors. A lot of this stuff you can still find in the stores, you know? It's the stuff that's in there every year. The giant scissors, most of these masks here. That's pretty creepy. I'm oh, sorry. What? Yeah, these weapons. Most of the weapons are ones that are in there every single year. Look, I found the 
as well as all this makeup and yeah, the arms, the feet, the cut off body parts and things. I was much less animated back at that time. Here we go, looking through the hole to see what's behind the scenes of JC Pennies. The old pennies. I actually used to shop in that store before it closed down. All right, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop that one right here just because it's making my head spin watching it. But you can see how my very first time that I ever filmed a Spirit Halloween was completely different than the way I do it now. And, um, and like I was saying, you know, I, I know that when I went in there, I went in with the intent of filming anything that I could see that was a remnant of J.C. Penney's. And once I got in there, I started looking at the Halloween stuff, and I'm like, man, this is what I really want to be filming here. But it was just, it was weird to be filming that because that's not what I did at the time. And, um, and then from that point on, I was kind of like, that's all I thought about. I really wanted to get back in there. So from that point, like the next year, I started filming them. Like that was almost all I ever did on this channel from that time forward. So let's go ahead and jump forward right now to the most recent Spirit Halloween video that I filmed inside a store. And that one would be this one right here. 2022 inside the abandoned Pat Catans. And here's the thing. I still use the word abandon in those titles because of the nature of Spirit Halloween, how they come along and they rent a store which is basically abandoned and they have it for, you know, two, three months and then they're out again. So that's why I still do that. People tend to like that. And um, let's go ahead and watch this. Um, if you guys remember... Last season, I did 100 stores. I actually filmed 101 stores over the season. And there is a video up right here, the Ultimate Spirit Halloween 2022 Tour, 100 stores in three months, where I kind of recap that, as well as another video with all 101 stores from start to finish. I mean, it's like a 24 hour long video. But let's go ahead here and watch um, Spirit Halloween 2022 inside the abandoned Pat Catans. The very last Spirit Halloween that I filmed inside a store in 2022. And let's go ahead and watch that one and just see what a difference it is from the one that we just watched to this one four years later. We have the five foot Beetlejuice. What in the world was that? <laughs> Yeah, so already you can see where the whole um, energy of the video is much higher. And then you've got the, the specific intro to Spirit Halloween here. Which reminds me, I need to finish my new intro for this year. Okay guys, we are in Parma, Ohio at this Spirit Halloween right back here, which looks absolutely enormous. Look at this. It goes all the way down to here with the Halloween sign, and then all the way up to here at the end of the posters. I have no earthly idea what this used to be, but we are in luck because my friend David from David's Retail Adventures on YouTube works inside this store and he can tell us. Yeah, that's right. But the most awesome thing about this store, this is Spirit Halloween store number one Hundred. <laughs> yeah, let me just pause it there a second because look at this. I'm even like teary because of how much I love doing this. Um, and I remember going in there and filming that that day. It was such a relief um, and such an exciting thing to be on store number 100. Um, after traveling around the United States filming these things driving every single day up to five six seven hours a day to get to different spirit halloween stores in different states oh my gosh but yeah um before we continue you can totally see that difference in the uh the energy level and how from that first spirit halloween that i filmed 
how I just completely like blossomed and opened up and I was like, this is what I love. This is what I want to do. This is fun. So um, yeah, let's continue watching this video here. All right, guys, this is David that I was just telling you about. Hi, everybody. And what did this store used to be? This used to be a Pat Catan's craft store. Before that, it was a giant eagle way back in the day. Pat Catan's, man, I remember trying to get the lights, the checkout lights from Pat Catan's when they were closing. All right. So just real quick, um, David's Retail Adventures, he is also somebody that I met um, in doing all my retail videos. And he loves Spirit as well. He works at Spirit, obviously. And um, that little exchange there, you know, we when we were doing all the retail stuff, um, like my office at my other house, I had full of retail stuff, like checkout lights from Kmart, plates from McDonald's, all kinds of stuff, big signs from Toys R Us. And a big thing in the retail lovers community is to collect all those pieces from the stores that have closed down. What I just said about the Pat Catans, um, he said that this store used to be the Pat Catans, and there's a store down here in Canton called Michael's now that used to be a Pat Catans, and I was trying to buy their checkout lights when they were closing, but they reused them. They just kind of painted them different. So anyways, all right, let's keep moving here. All right, guys, look at this place. It is absolutely enormous. I love it already. And you know what's funny? The feel of this store, for some reason, feels more like the feeling of when I watched the Spirit Halloween movie than when I actually filmed at the store where the movie was filmed. It might be because, like, half the lights are out, so it makes it kind of dark and spooky in here. But anyway... Yeah, um, if you guys watched all those videos last year, you know that I filmed the Spirit Halloween store in Rome, Georgia, and that used to be a Toys R Us, and that was the store that they used in the movie, the Spirit Halloween movie. So it was really, really cool to see that, be in that store, and try to like match up things, uh, cracks and stuff on the floor um, to what you see in the movie. That was really awesome. But when I walked in this store here in Parma, um, it felt like the Spirit Halloween feels to you in the movie. It is really spooky, and it's probably because it was right down towards the end of the season here. Lights were out, the shelves were half empty, there were only a few animatronics in here. Anyways, let's get moving here. We have Nazi right here. Nazi. Right front Hot and nozzles. center. I've never seen him right up in the front. He is so loud in this enormous store. And you know what else, guys? When he turns back on, listen closely. I never knew that he actually has music playing as well as his laugh. Listen. Like a little Halloween bark to set the I can't Can you hear it? It's been so loud in these stores, I've never heard the music playing. Kind of like with Bottomless Joe. I never knew he had music <laughs> either. All right, Nazi, take your hot no nose, because we're going to come over here and see the Tombstone of Terror. Now this guy, it's funny because his sensor, there he goes. <laughs> oh my God, he has one eye. One I bet he eye. read the map wrong. <laughs> That's how he ended up right here instead of the regular cemetery because he read the map wrong. Excuse me, sir, we already talked to you. All right, guys, let's come on over here because here is an inflatable that I have not yet seen blown up anywhere. I was considering getting... No wonder you guys love these videos so much. They're so much fun. I mean, it's so much fun just to see what's in the stores, but just the way that you can see how I am just so excited and having so much fun to go in here and see this stuff, even after I've seen it a hundred times. It's so much fun and so exciting. And then when you get to see things like this, like this inflatable that's blown up here that um, has not actually been blown up anywhere else, I mean, I, I think I bought him from that store that day. ...him, especially when I found the Frankenstein, because the Frankenstein is totally awesome. And this guy is awesome, too. He's huge. However, that outfit looks way too much like Homer Simpson. I just don't know. <laughs> because I just, all I can see is Homer Simpson, ever since somebody said that to me. Let's just walk right up on him because you can see he's absolutely enormous. He's pretty cool. And he does look awesome. Like, that's an awesome picture right there. 
But when you step back and you see that outfit, all I can think is Homer. And then there's this guy. I am so glad that I finally bought this guy. I have looked at him so many times this season, and I just wasn't sure what to think of him because just looking at the box, you really can't get a feel for what these things really look like when they're blown up. But he is absolutely huge. I started seeing him blown up in stores just about a week or two ago. Look how enormous he is. I am so glad that I bought him. I can't wait to blow him up. And if you guys wanna see that happen, come over to my other channel called That Nate Guy on Halloween. I'm gonna be blowing up all my new inflatables on that channel. All right, let's go right here through the tunnel of the bubbles of death. Oh, there's the bubbles oh of my death, gosh, guys. guys. I got them right behind I can't believe here. it. As I'm looking at this right stuff, there. I just was reminded, this is store number 100. This is the last store, guys. Holy crap, my heart just dropped. I think that's this where is I the actually last got time we're going to walk through the bubbles of death. Those are my bubbles Unless of I go to the right clearance there. sales. <laughs> but look at this. The beautiful bubbles of death tubes. You can hear the electricity up here trying to kill me. Look at these. Okay, here's this is funny. They're all in a totally different like version. Like this one is working exactly how it should. It's bright, it's beautiful, it's bubbling. Then this one over here is still bubbling totally awesome, but it's like very murky. And then this one on the <laughs> other side, it's bubbling pretty good, but not perfectly. And then this one over here is just barely bubbling. Like there's a small fish down there who's trying to breathe. And there's the stuff? chains of death. Is the monitor working? Oh yeah, there he is, Jack himself. All I right, let's come on out here because we have somebody did. else set up here. It is the inflatable Sam. That is one of the only inflatables that I did not buy this year. No, actually, he's actually there's a whole bunch cool. I didn't buy, but he's one of them that I didn't buy. I just kind of like to go for the bigger ones, and I think he's only, what is he? He's four feet tall. He's pretty awesome, and I still may get him, but he's here like every year, so I could get him next year. All right, let's come over here because they still have a Monty set up, guys. Check this out. And look at Monty's feet. It's the normal feet. What the heck was up with Monty's feet in that other store we went to? That was really weird. They had okay, like Monty, somebody else's do you work? hands or something on his feet he works. instead of his feet. Right? Monty actually works. Okay, he kind of works. <laughs> okay, here he goes. He's so quirky. And I don't know why that is. Some people have told me that it's just the connection going to the uh, to the step pad. Right now he's working perfectly fine. I'm so but yeah, a lot of times he's real quirky, like his way. eyes will flash, he'll start to work and then he from, stops. Like, Anyways, good mistaken. job, Monty. They have one tombstone of terror over here. It's reduced to $96. Let's see why. The jumping mechanism has issues and retracts incorrectly okay you know i think that like i could have bought that for 95 bucks and um contacted like dr zombie and i think they will fix it for you or send you new parts or a new one or something like that um and i gotta keep that in mind because in going to all these spirit halloween stores i always see a lot of things on clearance because they're broken all right, we're going to quit on that one right there, guys, because I want to do one more here before we go. So we're going to go back to the front of the channel here, and we're going to watch a little bit of the most popular Spirit Halloween video that I've ever made. I don't know why you guys love this one so much, but you do, and I'm glad for it, is Spirit Halloween 2019 inside the Abandoned Michael store in West Virginia. Now, let me just say this before we watch that video. If you go down here just a little bit under the popular tab, let's see, you got four, eight, nine. The ninth most popular one is the one that really kicked everything off. And that is Spirit Halloween 2019 inside the abandoned Sears in Ohio Valley Mall. And I don't know what it was about that one, but that one is the very first one that I posted that just went viral. Now, as of now, this one has 2.1 million views. Um, the one here from Sears and Ohio Valley Mall. After that one, it was like to the moon with these spirit videos. It was great because I finally had like officially made it on YouTube. 
and I was doing exactly what I wanted to do and having a blast doing it. So thank you guys so very much for getting me to this point. I, 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 can't, even, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate it. And I guarantee the fun is going to continue. So let's go ahead back up here and we're going to do this one. Spirit Halloween 2019, the abandoned Michael's Craft Store in West Virginia. Oh, that's weird. He's not working. Oh, <laughs> God, he totally tricked me. I remember that. I remember that like it was yesterday. That that jumping spider wasn't working right, and he'd go like this, and he all of a sudden jumped up, and it was like he tricked me. This is 2019. Um, Seven million views on this one, guys. Shopping center. This whole shopping center is absolutely gorgeous, and just it's huge. I can't believe the size of this place. Look at the style of this place. Look, we got a Bath and Body Works to close down over here, Label Scar. Bed Bath & Beyond, which is funny because I just filmed that uh, Spirit in the Bed Bath & Beyond the other day out in uh, Wadsworth, I think it was. But yeah, here it is. And look, this is only the second place where I've seen the big Spirit Halloween sign like that, so it makes me wonder if it's a permanent location. I don't know. We're going to find out. Let's go in and check it out. Yeah, at the time, I don't think I was aware that there are no permanent uh, locations for Spirit Halloween. The flagship store in New Jersey is permanent, but it's still not open all year long. Hopefully, we'll find a ton of different animatronics it's in here that we've not seen. I say that every time we walk into a Spirit, but I'm excited. Reaper's okay, Morph. we're first we right go. off the bat. I see Campfire Zombie which I've not seen in any stores before. All right, check it out, guys. It's actually smaller than what I expected, but there is some cool stuff set up in here, so let's go check it out. We, we got, got Reaper's Bubba Wharf set. here, like we see in all the stores. Here's Bubba. I see Rusty back there. I, and I knew he was coming, and he scared the crap out of me again. He always does. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm so he jumpy, needs to be in guys. one of my Everything thumbnails. I've not put him in me, yet. Makes me jump. <laughs> Look at this. They got a brain in here. <laughs> Same um, scarecrow. And he must not be working because he's already sitting up, and there's no pad to step on. He's got a brain. He's usually his looking down, and then he like jerks his head up real fast and scares the crap out of you. Okay, we got this guy here, Rusty. Let's see if he works. Let's see how remember. he's working. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Like He's jerking around more than the other one that I saw. I like that. He's a lot louder, too. Some of the other ones aren't very loud. All right, we got Jack Straw here. I love Jack. I want to buy Jack Straw still. <laughs> he is so awesome. He, look at how huge he is. He like, scares me Dahlia. every single time, no matter what. Here's one of my favorites, the jumping spider. Here he goes. Oh, what the heck? The fake out. Wait. Oh, that's weird. He's not working. Oh, <laughs> Oh my God, he totally tricked me. Like when I stepped on the thing, he went down and he sat there and then he started jumping like he wasn't gonna work and then he jumped at me all of a sudden. Okay, here we go. Here we go, I the collector. Unneeded flesh to feed my army of demons so we can hunt for more. <laughs> he is so cool. I think he needs to be in one of my thumbnails too. There must be different settings on these, because I noticed that this guy sometimes has a mat like these, you know, that you step on to activate them, but this one is set at motion activated. More evil than I could ever dream to be. I collect human flesh I think he's one of my favorites, and he's actually one that I think has worked in every single store I've been to. Usually you come across a couple that don't work, you know, like sitting a scarecrow over here. All right, let's move on. Let's go through here. We got this guy that I can never remember what his name is, Iron Rod or something. Somebody tell me what his name is, because I, I keep still forgetting. don't remember what his name is. And they is. usually have like the name plates <laughs> or something, but they don't for him. <laughs> okay. 
Here we got Hugs here we the go. Clown. Hugs. I like this guy. I love his purple hair. Let's see if he works. Hey there, friend. Welcome to the fun house. Come a little closer. We've got fun and games and hugs. I love <laughs> Hugs, man. I, I gotta love buy him. him. All right, People, oh, look, he was two ninety. They also have the Arctic Dragon. This is only the second place I've seen this guy. No, Arctic he was Dragon. Let's see if he works. There he goes. Two oh nine, and now people want like five hundred bucks and up for him. That Arctic Dragon, I really didn't care all that much for. He's yeah, not really he that works awesome. Cool of a prop. Look at his eyes. And he seems kind of out of place. Blue. He doesn't really fit in with anything that's going on there. That's really cool. It's only the second place I've seen that one. All right, here's this guy, and they don't have a map for him. Cocoon He's supposed corpse. to be moving I all over the place. I just always wish that he moved around more. Mumbling like and grumbling. You know, I've said before that I wish that he would be thrashing around like this guy over here. See, that's what I'm talking about. I think that about. would make this prop so much better if he did. Speaking of this guy, go though, let's go see him. This is actually one of my favorites. Yeah, he's really cool. I love how he thrashes around. You don't have to activate him at all. He just is doing this all the time. I love how he's thrashing around. That's perfect. All right, and here's this guy here. Cerberus, I think Cerberus. his name is. He doesn't have a nameplate here, but let's see if he works. Wolf, whatever he is. Yes. Good job, West Virginia. All your props are working gun. except for one so far. I really want to see this one working with the fog coming out these guys' mouth, but somebody told me that uh, that they think the fog is like a fire hazard, like it would set off the fire alarms or something, so they can't actually have it going on in the store. Okay, that's it for this part, the SS Riptide. All right, guys, I said it the last time I was in one of these. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop that one right there, guys, because... Honestly, we could just go on and on and on all day with these, but I want to get this video done and get it up for you guys just as a way to say thank you so very much for watching the videos, for subscribing, and if you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell so you get notifications, because the Halloween season is about to begin, man. July 29th, grand opening of the Spirit Halloween flagship store in New Jersey. I'm going to be there. If you guys are there, you'll get to meet me. We can take a picture. I'll sign something for you if you want. And I have special stickers to give out exclusively at the flagship store. So once again, guys, thank you so much for 300,000 subscribers. Here's looking at 500,000 coming up and even a million. I ain't going nowhere except for Spirit Halloween. <laughs>